you know there's those times where you have a feeling something cool is about to happen? This is that time. Okay, okay, okay. Now pull it straight up like this. Yes! Keep it straight up like this, like this, baby. I go get the bucket. There you go. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold up, baby. Hold up. Let me hold up. There you go, straight. Perfect. Guys, that was epic. That was epic. Oh, oh. Just from a filming standpoint, that was epic. <laughs> big eel, big eel, guys. Big eel. And we also have another special guest. What's up, Jerry? And uh, Erica's here too, over there. We got a super low tide today, and you know, these don't come around very often, so let's get at it. Look at all this, guys. Look at all this. How's your trip so far? Uh, it's not as good as we planned. We went catfishing yesterday, got a few bites, lost a few fish, but we didn't catch much. And the day before that, we haven't been getting a good trip. So today, hopefully we can get something good. <laughs> Nicely done. <laughs> What should we expect today? Cabazon, wind cod, rockfish. Do you have any fascinating facts Elephant about any of those? Elephant seals are loud. <laughs> 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 nice one, dude. Well, there's our fish, there's fish, our fish tacos. tacos. Baby. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Give wow. us the play-by-play. -play. Uh, so I baited my hook with muscle and uh, Monica told me to put it right in there and I was feeling little taps but it didn't feel like a hook. I kept bringing it out, and then I kept putting it back in. And then I finally pulled it out, and it finally went bam, bam, bam! And I bring it out, got this big eel. Ooh, yeah. Is that the biggest one you've caught? Probably. <laughs> I've seen bigger, but I've never caught this big. That's not bad. It's your personal best. Not personal bad. best eel. Good job. Now we're gonna try those, see those rocks over there? We're gonna jump oh over God. there and try those ones. Now see this one right back behind you? Yeah. See how there's a little bit of a ledge? So we have a little bit of conundrum. We got off the water and we really want to cook up all this food that we just harvested. However, the wind is going probably 25, 30 knots and there's like only one small area back there that will block the wind for us. So we're trying to figure it out. We might even have to just leave this place altogether, but We'll see. We'll see how this turns out. Is all this meat we got is enough to is as much as you wish? Um, I you know it's gonna be more than enough. Especially we got the uni. Oh yeah, the uni. Woohoo! Already found something good. First archer. Look at uni. this one. Nice. It's a big red one. This is the right kind. Yeah. That, well, those kind too. And then there's yeah, a big one. black one right there. Yeah, those are good too. There's one here, there's one here. There's one over here. Oh, there's one over there too. Yeah, they're all in here. Yeah. But you know these most likely won't have any eggs in them. Yeah. Because of the fact that there's no seaweed in here for them to eat. Oh, well, I mean, the tide changes everything. Look, there's a big one right over here. Yeah. There's a big one right under this rock. Look at that one. That one's giant. Oh my goodness. Look at that! That thing is giant! Compared to my hand! Well actually there's a better one. That one down there is much better. Look at it compared to my hand. <laughs> That's pretty nice. Yeah, it's real thin. See how thin it is? Yeah. You want it to be a little thicker than that. 
So we're over there and uh, you know doing a little pocket fishing, pull, you know, poke pulling, and finally, after you know, hand size rock bass, rock fish, I got this guy. I'm like, okay, decent keeper size. I'm excited. <laughs> Let's go, right? And then I hear some ho hooting and hollering, and uh, <laughs> and then this happened. <laughs> This is my very first keeper cabazon. Look at that belly. Look at that belly, yeah. I want to know what's in there. <laughs> Such a beautiful beast. <laughs> this isn't a grassy, but it is a black and yellow rockfish, which you can see is black and yellow. Feisty one. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> Oh, that came out so, so good. So nice and easy. Yeah. Bye, Caddy. <laughs> there we go. Bye-bye. Bye, Explain it. What are we trying to we're, do? It's very windy here right now, and we're trying to do a catch and cook with the no, eel, no. The, the uni, and uh, some other fish that we caught, some grass fish, rock fish, and stuff. And uh, Leroy's going to turn his truck around. He's going to be the shaft of the arrow, and the other cars are going to be the, the 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 head of the arrow. This sounds worse than it's than it really is. We're going to flank him on each side. That's we're going to flank him. Right. We're going to flank him. Why, why are you recording me doing this? <laughs> Thank you. And here's the result. This, ladies and gentlemen, is how you attempt to block wind. And it's kind of working. <laughs> the wind was the biggest challenge. That's why we're uh, cooking inside the ridge lines. <laughs> in the trunk. In bed trunk. Cooking in the trunk, buddy. So we don't know what's going to happen, but... We're gonna cook down here. We got two stoves in there. But that also happens to be where the what? Where the gas tank of this truck is. <laughs> yeah, it just so happens, you know. So probably is it a smart thing to do? Is I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> in between these two fish. Yeah, how I have it and it fits in, in in it's as wide as those two, but then when I close my hand, see these are shorter? Right, so it makes like a little, like a little square, okay? And you go like this, and go like this, and you put it down here. We're gonna start with eight right now, and see how it goes. And then we're gonna go from there. You make a little cup like that. That's called, that's called gunkan. Gunkan style sushi. They also, salmon eggs come this way too. Uh, yeah, I can yeah. see that. Ikura, ikura comes this way. Mm. And so does masago or tobiko. Mm. Tobiko. Tomiko is a flying fish egg. Yes, I know that. You know that? Yeah. It comes I from the. Well for her fever too. Comes from the fish called a. Flying fish. Well, it comes from a. We, we call it tobiko, because ko means egg. Okay. So it actually comes from a fish called a. The name of it is called a tobi uo. Mm -hmm. I like that. It's kind of, kind of like a rice cup. Yeah, it's, that's yeah. exactly it's what it is. It, and it's well. edible. Yep, you just pop the whole thing in your mouth. Don't try to bite it because it'll fall apart. I prefer not to have soy sauce. Okay. Alright, so you guys saw in the beginning of the episode, <laughs> we had like just the whole bottom was covered in sea urchins. Like there's a ton of the purple ones and the red ones. And then this is what we got. <laughs> Smile, Mimi. Yeah, good shot. Fresh uni. As Mimi says, it doesn't get any fresher, and it's not pricey. Mm. <laughs> get it now, everybody! Wow. That was so good. It's the ocean. <laughs> it's the ocean in your mouth. It's like the rich, the really rich part of an oyster. That's probably like the best way to describe it. But it's definitely all there if you really like that 
Oh, it's hard to describe. How do you describe it, Rich? I describe it kind of creamy. Creamy, yeah. A creamy, uh, a little nutty with the flavor of the ocean. That's mm -hmm. the best way to put it. I would agree. And in a roll like that, nice and uh, portable. <laughs> and you're, when you're eating uni, you're doing something that's good for the environment because they ruin the kelp forest. They, yeah, they ruin the, the rocks around here. They just, yeah, take over areas and infest them. So the more that we can kill and eat, the better. Oh yeah, it's hot now. Put on a hot seat. Fried people lifting. Bob's favorite. <laughs> no, they're not here. Oh, they are? Oh, okay. So, if anyone was ever curious if you can cook inside the in bed truck of a Honda Ridgeline, we you just can do it. it. It's done. I just don't know if the spare tire is going to be good after this. Like, do you think it's gonna be like a scallop almost? No. Like, yeah, it, yeah. Kinda, yeah, it has the like? texture of a scallop, but tastes uh -huh. like calamari. Mm, nice. Calamari. Ooh, All right, I, I can't calamari. wait. I can't. I can't wait. Dive in. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Everybody grab a piece. Honey, you gotta try. Come on. Oh, is it good? So good. Like yeah. abalone? Oh yeah, actually. Hey, it's honey. gelatinous. It's, Very. It's a snail. Yeah, it's gelatinous, but it's not slimy. No, that's delicious. Yeah. That it's like a really firm good. scallop. Dude, let's go get some more. Has everybody had some Mimi's eating? We need to go get some more <laughs> Keyhole Limpets. I heard you can catch them on Speaky Rigs. You can, if you're Bob. <laughs> Bob's good. It's like, how, like, easy to get, tasty, like, and so completely different than, say, like a mussel or something. Yeah. Like so good. But, it, but you've had the, the Keyhole Limpets. Yeah, this is the same? first time the Keyhole Limpets. These are just, yeah. I don't know what time they were, just the normal kind of. Non keyhole. Non keyhole. The little ones. Got the hole on the top. So we had crab today, keyhole limpet, uh, eel, cabazon. We had one black and yellow, I think, or a. Uh, um, yeah, yeah. One grassy. One grassy. So. Wow. Yeah, this is excellent. So everyone said their goodbyes. We're just cleaning up here, putting things away, and uh, we had a few challenges. But how did it all turn out? It turned out okay. I didn't know that I could uh, put two burners in the back trunk. If everybody knows what a Honda Ridgeline is, they know that they have a trunk in the back. I had to actually fry in the back of the trunk on the bottom to get out of the wind. But it worked great. We're another use for the Honda Ridgeline. So if you don't have one, you better go get one. This is not a paid advertisement. But no, that was really cool how bringing people out to try this for the first time. I mean, we just made some really good friends. Friends for life. You know what I mean? Mini fish? That's what, that's what, that's what the channel is about, man. That is, that's that is. The, that's the truest little 10 year old fishing person I've ever met. Your friends are out there, you just haven't met them yet. We that's right. Met, we just met that's five right. more. We made some great friends today. Yeah. And uh, we'll keep those memories rolling. So thank you guys for being a part of this. And uh, encourage you guys to do the same. We'll catch you guys later. Sporting your Belvedere sunglasses. I oh see shoot! <laughs> Dang. All right, that's not a good idea. Not a good idea. Very foolish. Yeah, don't do what I just did. I sh what I should have done is I should have waited and watched all the set and gauged if it was going to be possible. I basically froze because there's no real way to run back from that shelf without tripping and falling anyway. So I'd rather keep my eyes on the waves instead of turn my back on them. Definitely something I'd recommend to everybody. Wasabi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so good. Jerry too. Oh yeah. Woo! Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh man. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of the <laughs> I Yeah, that was even more than I used. Woo! That's strong as Yeah. Woo! <laughs>
<laughs> yep. so roll off that table. <laughs> Action guys, your bloopers head. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how this is. <laughs> Catch and cook success. You're probably used to Ed shoving his camera in your face while you're cooking, right? Yeah, all the time. Oh, 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 wait, wait. I gotta get that shot, Leroy. I'm flying. I gotta get that shot, man. Is it girl power today? Yeah. It's girl power. Yeah. <laughs> Personal best and first cabazon. Personal best eel. Biggest crab I've ever seen in my life ever on, on base. Uh, just amazing. A great morning. I think we kind of outdid the guys. Uh, gentlemen, did we outfish the guys today? I'm just asking. <laughs> yeah. Did we outfish the boys today? Ladies I did it. So. Was it, lady, was it ladies' choice? Yeah. Booyah. 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 We're just saying. We're just saying. <laughs> no comment. <laughs>